This video is about how to write a blog post using AI. And I'm going to show you my workflow for uh, creating a quality uh, SEO optimized uh, blog post here using a couple different tools. And we're going to go through the workflow, but this is going to be a quick uh, video just to show you how fast you can get a uh, blog post out there, get it published and ranked in the search engine so people can find it. And so the tools I'm going to recommend, I'll have them linked below, but the, these are really new tools that I'm going to recommend. Um, so if you're using anything like Ahrefs or SEMrush, those are for, you know, enterprise level, in my opinion. Uh, you want something like Rank IQ, uh, Low Fruits, um, and we're going to go be using uh, ChatGPT and, and Copyscape as well. But first, the first thing is you want to pick a uh, a topic. So you're going to need a topic, a headline, uh, a really uh, click through, high click through rate topic. You're going to need an outline and some content. So we're going to go through this uh, really quick here. So the first step is I go to Rank IQ, uh, which I have linked below, and pick a topic here and to go into the keyword library and this this is an amazing tool right here because everything is done for you and you just pick um, a, a topic which you're actually gonna rank for versus a, a competitive topic so let's let's pick a niche here and we're gonna pick let me see teeth like a I'm going to pick um, a topic here really quick. Let me see right here. And you can sort here. So you pick your, your category that you're, you're writing about, your topic, and you can, you can put in your keyword uh, in the list here. But what this tool, Rank IQ, does, it, it already, already has a database, a couple million keywords for new blog sites that are not, you know, that are within, you know, five years old or less that are not ranking in the search engines. And you need to, you know, you want to get some traffic to your website. And these are um, really good keywords. Now, I've used uh, Low Fruits dot io before and it's a little bit more expensive it's it's okay uh, but rank iq is is superior and um, so this topic right here can you floss too much so i'm going to pick this copy that topic here and this rank iq already has uh, ai built in here for content editing but what i'd like to do is take this topic so these are already generated topics. And I like to go into seowriting.ai and do a one-click blog post. Hit uh, generate title, seowriting.ai. I'll have this one linked below. And what I do is configure it to write me a, a blog post. I already have one done here, but I'm gonna show you how I do this here. So I pick my tone of voice as professional. Make sure you have English selected. There's different languages, but uh, point of view, I'm gonna put first person, target country, United States. Here they have image generation. So it, um, it already uses uh, image generator AI in here, so you can put in uh, images after the H1 or after each section. I select high quality. Uh, cinematic is fine. SEO, click NLP uh, keywords. So this is going to enter these into the article. FAQs, I select that. Leave everything else default. I click no on the key takeaways and connect to uh, network. And I'm going to show you how fast this creates uh, an article for this topic, which is going to rank quick. So I click, um, you can hear also, you can select the article size. So let's click run. 
And in this video, I'm going to show you how fast it's going to do. It's already at 4%. While that's working in the background, I go into chat GPT. I have a prompt here. I'm going to let you, I'm going to leave this in the comments, in the description rather. And I go into chat GPT and my topic here, let's one more second here. Can you floss too much is my topic. And my prompt is basically asking, I am targeting a blog post, targeting the keywords, can you floss too much? Will you provide me a list of 10 possible blog post titles using this keyword? Focus on power verbs and high click-through rates. Okay. So now it's coming up with titles, which is the first thing you need. We already have a keyword. And we're going to convert that keyword into a, a title, which users are going to actually want to uh, click through when they see it in Google or Yahoo. And they want to read it. So out of these, let's see which one looks best. Uh, let's see. Uh, reveal the facts. Does overflossing. That sounds pretty good. Let's pick that one. Put that into Notepad. And that one was number six. And here's my second prompt. And this is going to create me an outline. So this is my second prompt, basically asking ChatGPT, will, will you provide an outline for this blog post? And here is basically an outline that's going to uh, provide me. So let me check back into, while well, that's working, this is already done. And these are unique images, so you don't have to worry about um, plagiarism or any kind of, uh, you know, copied issues because artificial intelligence created this image. And the only thing I'm concerned about is the, the, the content, the text in here. So we're going to take this uh, text over to Copyscape and see if it's how unique it is. Log in here one more time. Okay, there's one article on the web which it scraped, um, which is it's saying that um, some text in here was copied, and we're gonna we can look into that and make it more unique. And but before we do that, um, the text I just copied. And by the way, um, I made an earlier article because I wanted more images in this post. But as you can see, this is the outline. It created this within you know less than two minutes, I think. It created this full article. I don't know how many words it is. We'll find out in a second, but um, I'm going to take this and paste it, go into run report into rank IQ. And what this is going to do is going to run like a keyword uh, content analysis on the article keywords, the actual keywords that you should be using and how much, how many words should you have in, in the article. And in, in here it says 872 words. So already my article is too long from what I could see, but we're going to put this into uh, the content optimizer. So, but what Rank IQ does, it outlines, it gives you all of these um, theme cluster topics here, which you should cover in your article based on how many times they are talked about. So you should be writing about all of these topics to actually cover 
uh, this blog post title. So let's go into Content Optimizer. Let me paste that in there and see what kind of scores. You can see here, score is a B. And it's way over too many words. So let me go back into SEOwriting.ai. Do this one more time. The reason why it's saying that's too many words is because, you know, a lot of people have the question, how many, how long should a blog post be? Well, Google that, you know, Google that uh, query and you will, you know, the answer is right there in plain sight. It's going to tell you how long. Usually you don't want to go above, you know, this is three or this is actually what, four times longer than it's, it should be. Um, I would stick it around, you know, maximum 1,500 words. So we're going to change this to uh, 1,500 small, extra small. So we'll do professional, United States. And cinematic here. Like this. We don't need the key takeaways. I don't use that. You can uh, connect to web. Yes. And that's about it. Let's see. So we're going to run this one more time to make it shorter because it's way too long. Okay. While that's running, let me go back to uh, chat GPT. So these are the Okay, here we go. This is the outline. So it has a conclusion. So we'll start introduction, the basics of flossing, benefits of regular. These are really good um, outline headings. So we can use that. Let's wait for this fit to finish up. Um, and while that's working, I want to explain to you, you know, perplexity. AI is also another tool which uh, you can uh, use to put in, let's say, one of these headings. Right. A short summary on benefits. Let's see what happens. And what perplexity does is it uses Claude AI, YouTube videos, you know, PDFs. Um, really high authority uh, other sites and combines them into one unique outline here. So you can use that as one of the outlines here. Okay, this one, let me go back to SELwriting.ai. Here's a new image cinematic. So when you're when you're creating these um, uh, blog posts using SEO writing AI, SEOwriting.ai. These are all unique images. And it's fast, super fast. And you can just copy that over. It merges where you can connect it to your WordPress, or you could just copy it and paste it into your CMS. Um, so let's let's check this one out. Let's see how many words it is. Copy it and then go back to rank IQ. And here's the cool part with the rank IQ. Oh, this is a D. So it went down. So actually, let me go back. But it's 1,488 words. So the best way to do this is... Okay. Okay, so here's what, what you need to do with rank IQ. You need to make sure you put in your, your title tag. And my title was, where's my title? Right here. Make that an H1. Let's see what happens. All right, it's still a B. So what you need to do is go on the right 
and condense this out and add these keywords that are not in, in green highlighted and optimize this. So what I do is I combine this outline with using, I kind of infuse my own writing, your own personal experience. If you, you know, if you have info on this topic, let's say if, you know, if I have, if I'm a dentist, if I'm writing about this, I have personal experience maybe about this topic, you infuse Fuse your personal experience along with uh, ChatGPT's outline perplexity, and, and then you get you know you try to get your score up to an A plus or higher, and you know recommended word count make it um, you don't want to go way way above what's recommended. Um, I would probably you know maximize it as 1,500 words. <clears throat> just kind of look on Google and see what they have, if they have, if they're using a lot of photos, if they're using the cool thing about SEO writing AI, it has all these um, tables already built in. Look at this, this little block quote in here. Summary. Um, look at look at this article. This is like this looks like it's it's coming out of Forbes article. But you want to read it. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. I like that graphic. And it has a conclusion in here, FAQs. So that goes straight into WordPress. But once you streamline the, you know, this this process, you can, you know, get a blog post within uh, 10, 15 minutes, half an hour. You can have a quality blog post. But make sure you copy scale. You don't want to copy and directly from SEO Writing AI and just publish, you know, blast like those programmatic SEOs do. You don't want to uh, publish 1,500 articles in a day using something like this because it's, it's with the recent uh, Google, um, what is that, helpful content update, you don't want to do that. You want to have your own information input um, and use, you know, a little bit of perplexity AI in there. Uh, where is that at right here? Perplexity AI, and uh, here it is. ChatGPT helps a little bit with the titles, the outlines, Rank IQ. So it's this is really an update for you know 2023, 2024 because this is the way it's gonna uh, uh, rank in Google, in my opinion. This is from my experience. Uh, thanks for watching. Comment below if you have any questions. I can do another video um, and so on. Thanks for watching.